Hi everyone, this is the first in a series of Christmas cards that I'm going to be sharing with you. I optimistically was planning to do 25 cards of Christmas and have a whole series of these, but uh, we're in November and I'm only just starting, so realistically I can't see me getting 25 done. So what I'm going to do is I'll just post them kind of as I do them over the coming weeks and we'll just see how many we get done. So for this first card, the stamp set I've got there is a Heidi Swap stamp set. And then I'm combining that with the Sizzix Christmas Borders die set. So that's the two, the stamp and die combination we're going to be using. Um, I will mention actually, because I know a lot of my followers like me are in the UK. Heidi Swap is a US based company. However, I find her shipping is really quite reasonable and quite fast and I have actually ordered quite a few stamp sets from her now so don't be put off if you're in the UK pop over to her website and have a look because she's got some really nice designs so the cardstock I've got here is the Sizzix um, cardstock I think this colours from the botanicals set and I'm just working out the placement you saw me just round the corners off of that little rectangle of card there with my corner chomper and I'm going to stamp the sentiment first so that I can kind of arrange the the borders around that really. So I've stamped that little sentiment there. This is going to be quite a clean and simple card design actually. So I shall pop this on just with some double sided tape. And then I can get going with the die cutting. So from the die set, all I'm going to be using is this little um, sort of garland type die. And I'm going to cut this a few times from opulent gold cardstock. I've gone with the um, matte finish card here. So I'm going to die cut two or three of these. So this is the first one. And I'll repeat this another couple of times. So I've got three of those and now I've got this little die that cuts all the different sized um, like little lights to go on the garland and I'm going to cut these several times. I'm going to do um, three different colours for this I think. I've gone quite modern colours and I've got that lovely pale sort of eucalyptus in the background so I've gone for a kind of lime green. Um, I think that teal colours called peppermint and then this one's called pink fizz. These cards colours are from the festive card pack from Sizzix. So I'm going to die cut a few of these and you can see I've got a nice little pile there and then I can start to make my arrangement. I think the, the best way for this card really would be to do this production line and to make a whole load of these cards um, because this bit is a little bit time consuming. So if I was going to go to all the trouble of die cutting a load of um, those little lights and things, I would just sit there with probably with my sidekick machine and die cut tons of those and then just sit and, and put them all together. So I'm just popping a bit of glue on each and I'm just alternating the colours. And I think against the matte gold that these sort of bright contemporary colours work really well. So I'm just going to go through and do the same on all of them. I'll skip forward because obviously it's a bit repetitive to watch. So now I can just attach these little strings of lights. And the great thing about these is that you can kind of manipulate them to make them fit whatever space really. They're quite, they are quite bendy. So for the first one, I'm going to go from corner to corner on top of the card. And then for the next one, I'll go from the top of that little rectangle. Like so. Obviously, you can do as many of these as you want to. I think stick to odd numbers will, will always look best. So do three or five. But um, And of course, you can do for more colours than I have if you want to as well. But uh, I wanted to keep it kind of quite clean and simple looking. 
So that's the first card done. I don't know how many will get done before Christmas, but let's see. I did actually film this one and a couple of others back in July. So uh, there's certainly a couple more to come. I've just got to edit the videos. So um, and I've got lots of ideas for cards. We'll just it's just about having the time in between doing all my TV stuff to get them done. So hopefully I'll be back with some more over the coming uh, days and weeks. I'll put details in the description box of everything I've used. So if you're interested in these products, I'll put all the info there for you. And hopefully I'll see you very shortly with another Christmas card. Thanks for watching. Bye.